Hello there Youtubers and um, today I'm just gonna do a quite short video uh, I have had a lot to do lately so I haven't been able to continue my series on the Commodore 64 as I wanted to and some programming on it but uh, just wait uh, I have some news for you and I will come up with some video shortly and uh, so I'm gonna do a small introduction to that video today but I thought I'm gonna show you quite um, um, I think this is a quite interesting program that's unfortunate you only able to run this program on uh, a Mac Macintosh uh, running on, on Tiger or Leopard um, the program is known as GL Terminal um, you can find it on I hope this is a you are able to watch see this let's see like that here we have it uh, the address is ldupa.net uh, well I think you can see that if I manage to zoom it in as much as possible that's where you found the program um, and here it's running what it does is emulating an old uh, VT terminal from the late 70s uh, with the flickering and lag of the of the board rate and the boldness of the screen and everything so I'm running it here uh, uh, I don't know how well this will look like in in YouTube, but in a YouTube video. But hopefully you will see the the lag, and you see how the screen flickers a little bit. Uh, you can run the terminal either in green color, as I do it here, or in white color, neutral white and black, or in amber color <laughs> if you if you like to. And um, when I started working with the Unix systems um, in the 80s. Uh, this was actually the first type of terminals that I had in front of me. It looked exactly like this, um, not a completely square, uh, flat picture. It was a little bit bold, as you can see here. The flicker was there, and when after a whole working day in front of one of these screens, <laughs> when you came home and you closed your eyes, you could still see the screen on on on, on your eyes because well, this color is is not great for your eyes after a couple of hours but it's quite a cool program um, that emulates um, the old days um, so you who know me know that I really like to program in assembler for the old Commodore 64 uh, so here I show you an old Unix editor uh, everyone working with Linux probably knows about VI so that's the program I'm running here uh, that's actually the editor that I know best. Uh, I'm gonna change a uh, line here. I know I need to change. Uh, okay. Uh, and then we're gonna assemble this program through a cross assembler that I'm running on my Macintosh. See my old video about DAS if you if you want to know more about this. So here I go. Um, let's go over here. Start up the flick program. Then I just compile. Here I have my. Uh, let's run the program. Then. Well, it seems to work as I wanted it to. So, what I want to introduce beside that cool terminal program uh, known as the GGL terminal is. Uh, uh, this the real piece of hardware. It's uh, I couldn't resist, so I bought a Commodore 128, um, a tape drive, an Enhancer 2000 disk drive, an old TV set. Uh, as you can see here, I've started up the Commodore 128 in 128 mode. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the screen quality here is really bad. I'm trying to run a small easter egg here, you won't see it because the text is flickering too much but what it says after you enter the sys command you get uh, up a message and software by Fred Bowen, Ter Ryan, Von Artwine and so on and it ends with link arms, don't make them. And I'm going to show you later on how to transfer programs over to, to the real piece of hardware from your PC. So enjoy! <laughs> 